Hello and welcome everybody. I am excited to be back on Gran Turismo Sport. I don't reckon I've loaded this game up for at least a couple of months, but as a mad rotary nut, I was uh, ecstatic to find out they were going to be adding in the Mazda RX Vision GT3 concept, as you can see on the screen in front of you. And uh, it's obviously it's based on the RX Vision, which was in the 2015 Tokyo Motor Show, I believe, as a concept car. Uh, they didn't show the engine on the day, but apparently, according to the game, what they've done is they've taken the quad rotor concept from the Le Mans winning 787B, and they've called it the Sky Active R. They've shoehorned it in. All I know is that we've got quad rotary goodness. It should rev its ass off, and uh, I don't know how this is going to handle. I haven't done any practice laps. I'm going to be jumping and raw. You guys get to experience this with me uh, for the first time as well. In terms of tyres, I've added the race mediums onto it, so that's all I'm going to be running. Let's jump in and see how it feels. Sorry about my squeaky chair there. Oh yeah, we got us a Revy boy. Now I have to try and get used to the feeling of Gran Turismo as well. I did of course complete the uh, iRacing 24 hour of the Nürburgring just recently. So I should know the track well, I just have to learn the game, physics and, uh, and this car, but how good does that sound already? Bit of an overrev there, just to let it go. Oh, oh yeah, she's a slippy girl. Got traction control turned off. Plenty of grunt coming out from behind it. Felt a little bit oversteery under brakes, but that could just be me getting used to the game. Oh, it feels good though. It feels satisfying. Already loving the sound of that note flying out. We'll see how it handles on the ring. Oh, she's a little bit taily under brakes. Could probably stand to bump the uh, brake bias a little bit further forward, but we're just going to press on with how it is. Run what you brung. No adjustments. This is raw. All I've done is put the race medium tyres on, obviously. You can see how much I'm losing the back end under under hard braking, but shouldn't have to be too concerned about that once I hit the ring. Obviously the actual uh, Nürburgring GP circuit is a whole different beast. has different traction levels and all sorts of things, so... You will have to excuse my shonky driving for now. For the most part, it sounds okay. Certainly looks the part. I'm not going to be pushing it too hard, as I say. I haven't done any practice laps or anything. So I just kind of want to get through this without yeeting myself into the barrier. Probably a bit slow through there. Back on the power. Let's see how it handles the jump. No adjustment to set up. I did turn balance of performance on for the track. So that is going to be obviously the fixed setup for the car there. Eh, not too much air. If I manage to not die through there. Okay, let's see how she winds out. Yeah, six gears a long one. Six gears a long one. Doesn't feel that talky in six. Can I take this flat knacker? Back off the throttle just a little bit. And that felt alright then. Handles the curbs well. Right, this is a bit of a task because you come flying into this. I hold it pinned. Down to fifth. Oh, that's air. That is air. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, let's keep going. Let's pretend that part didn't happen. <laughs> oh, nonetheless, let's try and get back into the spirit. It didn't quite handle that. Maybe coming a little bit too fast. That's fine. We're not here to, uh, not here to judge my driving, thankfully. Because if you were going to, you wouldn't judge it well.
And people would be suspect if I didn't crash on my very first lap. All in all though, the car feels nice. There you go, I was a little bit nervous about that. That's a faster corner there. Really just washing off the speed and taking it in fourth. Handles the slow quarters rather nicely. The fast things, the fast corners, it's a little bit... A little bit slippery, but I, I did not anticipate getting as much air as I got on that lap. Right, time to punch it again. Slight uphill this time. Obviously, it struggled just slightly to get out of fifth. Um, we'll monitor that. We don't need more than fifth there. Oh, the back end's a little bit taily. But uh, all in all, it doesn't feel overly hard to tame. I think a couple of laps practicing this, and you're going to feel nice and comfortable. I do have the uh, CR Nurburgring 2.4 hour race coming up this Sunday. Be live streaming that whole thing on Twitch, so make sure you check out my website, charlieroscoe.com, to find out the details there. But enough about that. I've only just grabbed sixth. I would have thought, as I come up to Courage Corner, managed not to die through there. I probably slowed down a little bit too much. But yeah, really didn't pull through fifth in the sixth, did it? So perhaps. Uh, down slightly on grunt. I would have thought it would comfortably pull into six and see how it takes the carousel. This is always a nervy part. Oh, that is pretty wild. <laughs> pretty wild through there, to be honest. Now, if I get this corner right, I should be able to hold it flat pinned. Let's see how we go. Yeah, easy. Nice and easy. Very much just using the braking markers and everything I uh, had learnt for iRacing and just hoping that Gran Turismo is nice enough to me to transfer everything across. Of course, Gran Turismo Sport is a hell of a lot kinder to running over the kerbs. Oh, that is wide though. I just never quite got that one back, did I? That's alright. Pretend that didn't happen. I'll cut that bit out in the air today. As I say, it is my very first lap, first impressions. And all in all, other than how much I suck at driving Grand Turismo Sport, eh, just a little bit, yeah, see at high speeds, that front end doesn't want to pick up too much, oh that's not great. Oh, yeah, just at, at high speeds, the front doesn't really dig in your turn, and there's nothing but understeer. Little things like that you're going to get used to, but um, that's the thing about recording your very first lap and first experience. You get the warts and all. I could have retaken this video four times and got the perfect lap for you, but that's not what I wanted. Wanted us all to experience it together. Oh, nearly fell out. I never quite got in that, did I? In the uh, second carousel. Right. Let's see how we go winding it out on the straight. Overall, I would say so far in the slow corners, it feels really good. The back end's a little bit taily under brakes, but maybe an adjustment of your brake bias a little bit forward um, might help that. It, it uh, yeah, just didn't seem to have the initial turn in bite that you might want uh, at full speed. And maybe just down a little bit. I'd like to do some comparisons with other cars. Maybe just down slightly on torque, which is, you know, you could think it's not unusual for a rotary, but it is a quad rotor, so there should be no shortage of horsepower. But let's see how we go through the tear garden. Yeah, nice and easy. Could have actually held it pinned a little bit longer. Come around the corner. It was a messy lap, I made plenty of mistakes. 
But that is my very first lap in the RX Vision. And it is just nice to have a new rotary added in. It's got the little uh, rear view mirror on the dash there. Such a nice looking car as well. Change views, get an idea of the sound. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited and I'm actually going to use this car this coming weekend. I think, oh, it's really hard to steer a car. Okay, it doesn't sound so great from outside the car. And obviously you get that Gran Turismo Diff 1 on the inside. But um, that's going to be it. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like. If you did enjoy the video, it helps me and the channel out an awful lot. And if you are new around here, consider hitting subscribe. I can't wait to talk to you all next time. And, uh, and again, this Sunday, tune in. Two times 2.4 hour races around this track on Gran Turismo Sport over on Twitch. Link will be down below. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you all next time. Bye for now.